Hello gamers! Welcome to a random world box um, world that I'm just using as background here. Uh, but today, we're going to be going ahead and uh, creating a small little world in world box. And we're going to go ahead and fill it with resources, beasties, and humans, orcs, uh, elves, and uh, what's the last one? Dwarves! And we're going to have them just roll with it. I'm going to plop them all in there, and I'm going to let the world box go for 24 hours. 24 hours in real time. This is fast motion. This is not real time. But if you want to see what real time looks like, it looks like this. You know, it's just regular speed. Going to let it run for 24 hours real time, and we're going to find out what happens. You know, which uh, colonies end up doing well, which ones end up failing, etc, etc. There's going to be natural disasters on, there's going to be world destructing events happening. It's going to be really, really sick, and you guys are going to be able to see it in fast motion. So let's go ahead and create this world. Okay, so here's our tiny world. It's really boring right now, but what we're going to go ahead and go do is actually uh, create, I think, four different uh, small islands where we're going to have our four different factions living. So I'll be right back and do that. Okay, so here we have it. Here's the world that we're going to be looking at uh, for the next 24 hours. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, scatter some different stones and, and natural resources across this world. So that way everyone is sort of on an even playing field. Each island uh, is going to go ahead and get some different resources for themselves and so they're going to be able to expand, declare war, all sorts of that good stuff that we like to see. We're also going to go ahead and put some forest bushes in these various lands too so they have some food and things like that too. Finally, we're going to go ahead and flood them uh, with some uh, just two, uh, you know, natural nice things for now um yeah yeah we'll do we'll do nice doggies and and uh sheepoos and and bunnies you know the the good stuff the stuff you like to see cows we could have some cows in there we everyone likes cows and then uh this will be penguin island here right here penguin island getting getting penguins in there and this can be turtle island the two competing islands beautiful okay we love to see it uh and then you know what this is going to be um evil island we're going to have crocs, uh, snakes, um, piranhas are going to surround it, uh, and um, yeah, it's going to be awful. <laughs> oh, maybe a bear too. Nice. All right. Have fun at Evil Island, whoever ends up there. Finally, we're going to go ahead and plop down our uh, villages. So uh, let's go ahead and give the... I feel like the orcs would like the savannah best. So uh, we'll plop the orcs down at the savannah. Uh, we're going to try and do about 50 or so um, at each section. I think that's going to be uh, enough to sort of get them going here and establish some cultures and things like that. We'll go ahead and plop the humans down here at the grasslands. And look at that. They've already founded a, a village here, the humans. So uh, good for them. They're going to go ahead and have that. And then finally, oh, and so did the orcs up there. Good. The elves, uh, you can have the enchanted lands down here. Uh, it just sounds like an elvish thing to have, the enchanted lands. So we'll go ahead and plop a ton down here. There's a lot of sheepoos for the elves to, to hang out with. So they've established their culture here too. And then finally, I think we need to actually go ahead and sculpt a, sculpt a small little mountainous region here. Just a tiny one. Just so the dwarves feel at home. You know, they, they, they love a good mountain. So we'll go ahead and do that for the dwarves there. And let's see if they do end up spawning themselves a uh, village here just to start themselves off. Not yet, but maybe they will in a little bit. They can, they can mull that over in their heads, decide who's leader and all that good stuff. So either way, we have our villages set up now. We can see their relationships um, on the map here. And, uh, you know, they've all got a lot of troops that orcs for some reason still not wanting to do it let's go into the uh world laws now and this will be the end we're gonna go ahead and make it so um we have other disasters as well as natural disasters and uh should we should we make it so villagers will also participate in same race wars um no we're gonna leave the villages out of it we'll we'll let the uh <laughs> we'll let the big boys in the kingdoms deal with that but now that we have Duzig. Ukashina and Oari set up. We're going to let them roll. Actually, I'm going to write down those names to see if those settlements end up lasting the test of time, aka 24 hours here. So uh, I'll go ahead and do that. And then I will cut to 
the time lapse of this. It's probably going to be about 10, 20 minutes, I'm thinking, unless something else goes wrong. The dwarves have still not created a village, which is worrisome to me, so we might see the dwarves go out of this pretty quick, but either way, that's what it is. Let's go ahead and cut to the time lapse.
All right, gamers, 24 hours in real time has passed. And um, it's kind of crazy. 8,735 years have gone by in this world. And still, Ukashina is still alive. That was one of the original provinces. Oori and Duzig uh, both went the, went, went the way of the dodo. Um, I'm not even sure if the dwarves ever even established a colony up here. Um, and Penguin Island is gone. There's just demons everywhere. There's so many demons. This <laughs> northeastern area is just destroyed by demons. Um, this little tiny area up here at the top left has been trying to create a colony for the longest time and they keep getting wiped out over and over again. Uh, but there's two main factions that still live on. Apuporo and, uh, of course, Ukashina over here. Ukashina, very advanced civilization here, which is kind of nice to see. It's good to see that they um, managed to survive for quite some time. Um, and Ufaporo, eh, not nearly as good. And <laughs> there's some neighboring demons and things like that over here. Um, this uh, island in the middle still just hell inferno <laughs> some some bad things happened in this area and I, I think it's kind of funny um so the total world population now is 311 but there was almost 50,000 total deaths yeah over that a period of time which is a crazy amount uh there's 79 beasts on the field right now so that's quite a bit and only 44 houses um I don't think the population's ever got very high, to be completely honest. Uh, so, it's kind of crazy. Creatures eaten, 121. There was never a plague. Um, then there's deaths from hunger, 388. Natural deaths, 29,000. Um, biggest village, Uka Ukashina just wins overall. Just completely. Houses destroyed, 900. 900 houses have been destroyed. That's crazy, dude. <laughs> um, and then uh, we have the world history, which is just like lengthy. <laughs> I, I don't even think it goes all the way back. It probably stops saving. Yeah, it, it only goes back a couple hundred years. So <laughs> demons from another realm have entered this world. A tornado, tornado. <laughs> it's uh, just a, a bad time was had by all in this, in this world. Um, so... But massive, massive bummer. I don't think there's really any other statistics we can quite, um, oh, game statistics. Um, trees grown, 67, oh, this is like my total actual playtime. I gotcha. Um, well, yeah, 24 hours in real time went by and, uh, a whole lot happened. It was, it was pretty cool. I don't know. I think it's a neat concept. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Oh, wait. Oh no, we already were having uh, main events show. I was just wondering if there was any way we could get more like statistics, but I don't think so. Um, either way, guys, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content, and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.